Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. On the heels of a rather successful campaign of bandit camp disposals, we'll call it. Kind of smoky over there. Ah. Anyway, I'm here in chopping, so I thought we'd start by watching over here in the, uh, in the camp. Boy, I just heard a tree come down over there. So these guys are quickly clearing away the forest that is in the way of our future farm fields. And I see Odd is a little confused over here. He's not sure what to do next. But um, we've got Lawrence over here. And what's he up to? Is he going to take another tree down? No, there's a tree down right there. He's going to go grab some, some rounds the hard way to split into some firewood. Yep, there he goes. What, you got it figured out yet? There you go. He, he, he discovered his, uh, his his plan. Okay, we're hauling those in and what next? Gonna drop them off onto a stump. Looks that way. Oh. He must have dropped two there. He must have been carrying two. And that's the way it's counting it. How's she doing? Oh, she's going to walk over and finish his job. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> well, that was impressive. Okay, well, they're going to do their thing. Uh, I guess somebody's selling firewood. You're walking over here to pedal firewood. So we are back in the firewood business. Okay. Rainy. Kind of a miserable April day. No warnings of of supplies getting ruined, so everything is in. All of our storage type buildings are manned and operating. And what do we have in the way of planks right now? We've got 21. Should we get this guy upgraded? The big thing I had wanted with the planks was the manor. And that's going in over here under construction. Okay. Um High priority, nothing more has been brought over here yet. We did finish a burgage plot just now. I think that was this one? Yeah. So that one is, and there's one more to go. So you are medium. And we just started. Clunk. Dropped off a log. <laughs> All right. So what is going on right now? Let's pull out a little bit. So we've got no more bandit camps around. So that threat has been has been eliminated for now. They will continue to pop in every, I don't know how many months in between each one. As a result, we brought in a truckload of influence. 320 per. So 40 more and we hit our thousand mark, which we need to claim an unclaimed province. It takes 2,000 to claim one that's been claimed and, and a bit of a, of a war if you, if you try and do it. But, so we'll well, we're not too far from grabbing that second one. Whether we do something with it immediately or not, I don't know. I'd love to spend a little more time bringing this one up to speed and splitting my time between basically starting just everything we've done here so far from five little tents to this is what we're going to have to do over there. So everything you've seen so far, we're going to have to duplicate it. So it might, I might just let that one sit for a while while we continue to work on this one. Trading is something I'd love to get into soon and get our uh, our wealth starting to move. What do we have to trade at the moment? There's, there's not a lot. Bandy Camp was sighted just like that. Speak of the devil. All right, he is quite a ways away, and it did. So this is where we've got some decisions to make. He will now that we pass through those first three bandit camps, the uh, the enemy baron will hire mercs and send them off to every one of these bandit camps now. We either stay ahead of them, sacrificing our own labor to do it, which is where the manor house is going to uh, is going to really help out because we'll get our own private retinue. We'll come in with five, I believe, uh, soldiers that are private soldiers. They're not part of the of the uh, of the village. And when we add another seven, that fifty apiece, so we're not quite there yet. We'll have a team of twelve that can be sent off to take out these 
Oh, there you are. Yeah, it was it was hiding with the mountain. That's, uh, yeah, okay. But they'll be able to go and attack those, leaving our, our own citizens here to do their jobs. And later on, if he starts to grab provinces around us and kind of blocks us from the upper side here where these guys can pop in, we might just leave our retinue out there. So they've got a chance to still get there before he does. We'll have to see just how that works. What are the mechanics of them not, not coming home for a while? What does that do to them long term? I don't know. Anyway, so get this up and running again. And we want to play with trade. So let's just kind of look through here. Planks could be sold at the beginning, but the the more you sell them, the lower the price drops. There's, there is a sense of a of a market system here, so uh, supply and demand. So we could get some some traction out of planks for a while. It'd be better to save those and turn them into something else, like um, shields or something, and sell those. Um, berries, we're back in the berry business. That's right. So we've got six families, and they all need to be allocated again. Let's get... Let's get two going right off the bat and get those coming in. And that means we probably could sell some because we've got a guaranteed source coming in as it is. So I think that's going to be a thing. I'm seeing a stall right there. We set up a market area here. We set up a little market area over here. No, just the one there. There was another one over here. I guess we talked about it but didn't actually do it. Okay, yeah, I can't. There's not one in there. I thought about a little more over here. I'm seeing that market stall. And I thought that these guys were running a market stall. Where do we have two food stalls? Oh, you came in the back side over here. You're also selling food. Okay. Now we may grab one of these foods and send them off over here. Yeah, we could do that. Let's see if we can figure out where they work, where they live. So you are a market stall people. You are from the granary, and you live over here. So you work there, you live here, you could run food, say, over here. Let's do something like that. Let's spread you out a little bit. So though these folks have less distance to walk. Yeah, let's see, construction, housing, and then markets right in there. So we've got a well there, we've got a market stall here. How about we try and wrap a little bit more market around hmm that goes a little wonky yeah this whole it doesn't like working in this there's two more right there that's kind of interesting let's do that that gives us three we don't have to put them there and there we have the whole space available that's just where the game try to calculate them but I could and I don't want to do it now I've made this mistake before if you move this now in the rain, you're going to be ruining all the food that's suddenly going to be laying out there in the, in the mud. So we'll wait on that. But we can move that market stall over here. We can set it right over here, even though the two little asterisks are over there. And speaking of asterisks, there's something that I didn't even realize until... Boy, who was it? I think it was Simidium that was talking about this. And it just... You know, listening to him, just one of those those moments where you just kind of slap yourself upside the head. Like, how did I miss that? When you go into fields, I always did it from up here. And I see, okay, there's an interesting texture out there. I guess, I don't know why the dots, but, but um, you know, this is interesting texture in the colors. And maybe that's to help you kind of get a sense on size or something. It never dawned on me that that's a plus. That's a minus. That's a double plus. Where am I? Swing back over here. There. That's a triple plus. So this is rating your your fertility based upon these uh, these little symbols that are in the ground. And I've lost myself here. Am I on this one? I'm on this one. So, yeah, you can... I feel like I'm wrong there. There we are. So... It isn't just a light green. It, it, there's more information there than I had given it. So that was that was a surprise to me. I thought I knew what I was doing. And then I saw what he was up to and mentioned that. And thought, oh, okay. So you guys are dropping trees. Is that one still on the ground? It is. So I wonder how many times they have to go back to it. It's not like the logging camp where they bring large sections. 
They just bring a couple of rounds with them and haul them back in. So it takes them a lot longer to wipe out an area. I wonder if I should ask these guys to help out. You know, that might not be a bad idea because I would like to get this going, but I'd also like to, oops, to make use of all of this wood. So do we, let's save that and let's expand this. I think we take out this whole area right here, but maybe those last couple of trees can can hang back. I think. Let's let's take another look at the uh, at the fertility. Emmer, yeah. Let's let's save these two trees. We're already starting to drop them right there. So you advanced. You pull back and just work over here. All right, we'll work with that. Uh, pull away from you so they should concentrate on what's closest to them even though it was a big area these guys over here will just you know grab right there these guys will grab right there so they'll work their way that way so if we decide later we want to save these trees we still can trees do stay in backyards when you build a plot like this until you go to set them to be something and then it'll delete them so if we're going to have an area where there aren't going to be any backyard needs then we could maintain some interesting uh, trees through their, their back and make it look pretty good now when is this rain going to stop and when do we want to actually try to get these farms in I mean I could set up a field here we could we've got extra families I need to go and find a place for them to work let's kick you up to very high and leave the manor at highest and let's make that our our pattern right now do we have any other burgages ready to go we just have the one okay so they were already working on this one and we're getting there got two rooms with a definite wall between them they just stole an egg. Man. So what is with that second room? And why is there no access? Is this a doorway? No. I don't know. Is the doorway itself... Oh, the doorway's elevated here. That's interesting. Okay. So... Oh, okay. So that is the floor level. Which means that is also the floor level. All right. That's interesting how they did that. Let's find a use for these four families. Let's keep at least two of them building. What do we got here? We've got two already in here. And as we start to work our way through those berries, uh, maybe we'll pull one back out. You guys are doing what? we got one over here. And we are at 31 of 40. We're heading for 15. We could actually do more there if we wanted to. The tannery is still over here we need to relocate that one when we get ready to set up the tavern um i don't get the sense where would hides be are you in here two hides versus 35 leather 35 leather I tell you i'd love to find something to sell but i know that shoes are going to sell for so much more than the leather i'd like to hang on to the leather and turn them into shoes Oh, I guess we're getting close. Oh, they're, are they walking through us? No, yeah, they kind of are. They're walking through our land to get over to this guy. And I think I'm going to let them this time. I really want my, my peoples here doing some work. Are we in? We're almost in. So, boy, if we could get... Well, taxes are going to grant us some more gold. Though that's a slow process. And a tithe out of here will grant us some more influence. Okay. But this is the one that I want, right? See? And barley. This is the one that we want and or this one. So we've got plenty of farming opportunities. Over here is what? We do have another big iron, rich iron mine, but we do here too. And I think this is going to be the, the iron focus. This is going to be a farming focus. Clay is not that big a deal. Maybe just to make roofing tiles to sell. This is a stone uh, focus over here, which also is, is not that big a deal as far as game mechanics. So farming is really it. Mining, farming for us that I can see. So these two are the most important two to get. And 
if we don't progress or, or, or grab too many of these, it gives him something to do. So he's not paying attention to us anymore. Let him grab all he wants up in there. As long as he doesn't grab the one right next to me. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? What do we do with these? Well, okay, we're talking about finding something to uh, something to sell in our trader, but not wanting to to um, give up the very items that are going to make us the most money later. You know, uh, planks would sell quickly right now, but I would let's let's take a look at that. We could get two per plank, but we could get six per large shield so four of those planks I don't know four of those planks would sell for eight it's going to take four to make the large shield for six but the price of planks will drop so where they over here to one eventually very quickly actually it'll drop down to they're only willing to pay one each because we'll be flooding the market right now everything's on average because we haven't been influencing things so later this six is going to be worth a lot more than those four though this will, probably will eventually drop too you buy a bunch of things then the prices are going to go up you sell a bunch of things the prices will go down so, and that's all going to be rebalanced and, and changed with the uh, the update that's on its way in too for now we could now i've not taken any of these other perks something just happened i've not taken these these perks here for trading to drop the the max trade route cost to 25 and to uh, uh reduce all of the the tariffs meaning what was that last one reciting armies meaning the difference between the sell and the purchase price eliminate the tan and just make it one now those mechanics are all going to change when the update comes and i'm worried that if i have taken those perks i'm going to be locked into something that may conflict with the update so i'm not willing to go any further in that till that happens but we could get some basic trading going on all that to say let's look at berries we don't have to use to pay the 18 to get this trade route going it is already there we don't get you don't have to pay for one till you get down into sighted into the major trades these we have to actually buy in order to do anything with it uh, okay it, it it didn't like me clicking right there so we could get into selling off some berries um okay things are happening let's pause so that we can do the things um let's go ahead and set up a route of exporting now it's not a dedicated route so it may not happen as often but and it may not happen unless we do it ourselves i don't know if there is a difference between importing and exporting i think exporting is facilitated more about uh, more with your own people being in employed and actually traveling off to sell your goods that could very well be a thing but and you can make this faster by grabbing a horse you know let's just do it okay so that's on its way and family is going to be in and we're going to start selling berries now how many berries do we want to maintain within our own system and not go below that's how you need to view that number right there. So if we want to maintain 50 at all times so that we don't sell out a big chunk of our own food, that's how you do it. And they'll now sell these 24 and any more that come in maintaining our 50. 50 may be a certain number of months worth of food for us, but as we continue to grow, that's going to get smaller, you know, a smaller and smaller percentage of what it's going to provide for us. So we get to 150, 200 people, 50 berries is just going to be a, you know, tonight's dessert. So got to be aware these numbers need to need to move along with your own needs over time. All right, so that's going. Let's swing over here to our manor and talk about this. Our simple, humble manor. And yeah, this is going to drive the... Uh, the half-wit Brit nuts, but I'm going to take a bush or two out. <laughs> let's let's explore this little tool here. This will eliminate things. 
So if I want to, we could leave this one, but I want to kind of clear out around here a little bit and see more of our building. We'll leave the corner and we'll leave that. So until we actually drop buildings in here by opening this up and you know grabbing a tower and doing other things or the tax office which is just for a, a cosmetic building at the moment let me spin you around then we'll eliminate more trees and bushes but until then it's going to maintain all of this we can go back in at any time and add these things in if you want to get your road in first so that your outer walls and gates will automatically form over existing roads. I don't know how to put the road in afterward. If it will modify an existing fence or if you're just out of luck. I have a feeling you're out of luck. So road in first, you, I would think one going into the manor so it's protected rather than having a back door. Oh, we do have roads in here. Well, we have roads within the sphere. It doesn't mean we have to put a fence right there. We could fence right over here, right along the side of it just fine if we decide to even put the fence in. So close all of that. And, but that's the outside. Inside, let's pause this so we can talk. Because it's already April and we need to be planting crops and doing other things this spring if we can squeeze them in. Letting it run while I'm jabbering away guarantees that we cannot squeeze them in. So the manor is, well, basically where this guy operates from. He, we can control the taxes from here. And I don't know what it takes to actually fire all these off. I'm assuming that these become available as the game um, continues to grow in advance. I mean, we've got a lot of points that have not been created yet for the game. There's a lot of uh, a lot more game to come yet, and I think that these other taxes probably are associated with those unfinished parts of the game but taxes at this point we can land tax and tithe so a land tax we can collect from our people's village funds and give them to our regional funds to do things like hire mercs to defend them against you know other dudes armies that sort of thing um we can also use our funds to go over to the next province and set up a starter uh, group to start building that town over there. These folks don't pay for that. He does. But we could also allocate funds or allocate actually food with the tithe. Surplus food by a certain percentage to the church returns more influence. Oh, that's right. Building this guy alone grants us another chunk of influence. We are over our 1,000 point. We're going to grab the other province soon. But we could at seven, eight months of extra food at the moment justify putting a, well, we'll start with maybe a 10% tithe to the church. And that will keep this thing adding up. We'll be able to add to this actually quite easily as we continue taking out bandit camps. So we haven't hit an end yet. So we don't have to spend too much effort increasing this. But when we decide that we're about to call this uh, an end game and start taking out his provinces and you know stirring up the hornet nest, it's going to take 2,000 influence to get that going as far as I know. Although maybe I can somehow send him a note and, and I don't know, flip him off or something and have him just attack us for free. I'm, I'm not sure how that works. I've not played the end game before. We'll find out. But 10 on the tithe I'm going to go with. We could go, well, 5 is probably a good solid number to put into a, a tax system. 10 will chip away pretty aggressively at this, but we just have to maintain above 75. We were in the 90s, I think, at the end of last time, end of March. Let's go for 10. Let's see what effect that has. So 10 and 10. This claims we're going to have a predicted approval loss of 3, but I'm pretty sure that's going to accumulate on both halves of, of that uh, scale right there. So you're going to get a negative 3 in the previous and a negative 3 in the recent. And yeah, it's going to start chipping away and that might accumulate over time. I don't know. So we'll kind of watch. Why did you move to a negative six? Maybe the negative three was right here and this was another negative three. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on this, see how that goes. But we now can also get into here and grab our own personal retinue. 
which is oh it's already counted it's already down here okay so you i can then let's pull out of that and do that again so you there it is the paintbrush we can customize our own retinue we can go through and change the appearance of the five that we were given already we can change what they're wearing what they're you know, with their armor, you know, helmets and, and shields and all that. And we can add more. Where was that? Right here? Recruit more. We can handle at 50 apiece. We can get five more. That gives us 10. I kind of like that idea. Let's just go right into 10. I want to get to 12 before I send them out after bandit camps. It kind of helps to guarantee you're not going to start losing them, which is another 50 gold every time. But... This is ready for whatever surprise comes our way. Then we can go through and, though we can't change what type of arms they've got, I don't believe. No, I can't. You'd think you could. You'd think you could either choose the sword or the... There's a whole variety of, of, of this type of weapon. Where am I looking at? Right here. So, you can see all the different shapes. So let's go with that one. It's, that's, a, that's one nasty point off the end of there for him. But we could also go through and change essentially the armor. So we could chain mail. I think I'll go this route. And then click and hold and spin them around. Let's grab, say, green and yellow. All right. And he doesn't have a a uh, shield but you can color the shields and then you can choose the helmets which I'm under the impression this is more typical of the era but I like those so I'm going that route and let's see here upgrade armor we can import and pay the full price to import the armor set for this retainer so I guess it gets into uh, more of a, of a heavy duty armor um, we can pay half buying from our local armorer Okay, so I don't know if that means we have to have made it, or the 17, I wonder if the 17 transfers from this treasury back to the town treasury by, by buying it from them. That's interesting, we'll have to play with that. And the zero, I take it that's armor we have already purchased and in stock and ready to somehow transfer in. Hmm, okay. So... I'll do a couple more of these and then I will go through and get it all done and show you the results. But you, let's switch you over to that as well and switch you to green and yellow so that we're consistent. And let's go pointy. One more? Where did you go? Let me turn. Dude, can you, can you duck a little bit? I think it's that one. What's this look like? Okay, you look like that, dude. <laughs> yeah, there he is. We'll go with that one. Helmet, you are wearing the one that I like. I think we're ready for you. Let's get into one that has... There we go. So, what kind of weapon do we like? That is... Did, I wish it gave me names. That's like a little sledgehammer. Uh, sword... We've got a hatchet or an axe, and we've got pure nastiness there. Man, I'd pay to womp with that one. Um, let's go with swords. Well, you know, let's let's go blunt. All right, we'll go with nasty. All right, so block means our shield. Let's go this route because it's easiest to, to bring our colors in. There and there, as well as there. All right, those are our colors. And helmet, we're, we're correct there. So I'll go through and set, reset the rest of these, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's call them up. Rally. And we get to, get to see this in action. Here's our own private guard. The 10 is pretty impressive. So I'm almost tempted to send them out after a, a bandit camp, but... It would be it would be close. We probably could do it. I know we'd win. I just don't want to lose any of them. I'd love to save up enough funds to get a full 12. So pause, pull out. The enemy's there. I mean, we could almost race them in and take it. Almost. We're here. They're there. It would be close. I don't think it's worth it. 
So we'll let them have this one. We'll go for the next one. All right, so we are up and running. We are going to dis uh, send you guys home. Yeah, there you go. They're going to walk back into the manor. And when we, let's see, let's get into here in the planner. We could set up a garrison tower, which will grant us another 12. So a, a retinue of 24 if we were, we found ourselves surprisingly rich someday. But that's going to pretty much bankrupt us. We're going to need 250 now to get moving on this province over here but for the meantime we could at least grab it so we're going to grab this region press a claim toward it and anybody who wants to uh, um, protest that claim and say uh-uh i challenge you to war then they would you know start, start sending troops in before we could claim this and speaking of we need to uh yeah, we need to come up with a new name for Zawow. Zawow is a name on that thing. So we've got Gandalf going over here. So we'll take a couple of episodes and see what uh, what possibilities come in. I assume some kind of a uh, Tolkien-esque kind of word. Whether it's something from one of his maps of Middle-earth or one of those people groups or just what. So this is going to slowly tick off. We, verifying, did in fact get a family into here, and we have set up a simple trade route for berries. We have 77 now, and we'll see when that happens. We're at 133, though we are going to see this ticking down as we move each month as more taxes go into there. So 13 will be heading in at 10%. And which is interesting. So if we suddenly sold a bunch of things and had a thousand in here, then we'd be pulling a hundred out at a time instead of thirteen at a time. That's probably has something to do with how it's going to affect your influence by the the quantity that is it's pulling out of you. That makes sense. So later we'll need to drop that tax percentage down a bit to offset the uh, the negatives that are. That is generating. Anyway, so we're still into April. Let's think hard about this. You're next. We've got one of three, two of three logs in here now. And Tolman just dropped off another one. Two of three. Very high. We've got three families in here working on it. And when did we last get our we'll get our last family right over oh that's right families come in for our manor so let's see here peoples yeah so two groups or two families fetching water two families show up just to reside within our own manor i don't believe they have any influence on this the town itself you're not going to find them out there uh um, hauling Toman around to drag a log. So, it'd be nice if we could set up gardens or something in here and make uh, make something of this. That would be uh, beneficial. You know, add to the food supply or something. But we want to take another look at farming. We're going to get that in real quick. So, what do we have in regard to... Is it up here? It's up here. In regard to setting up a field... Sickle or scythe? Scythe, I'm going to say. Sickle? Sickle. Sickle's the little one, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, field for emmer, flax, negative, single positive, barley, all negatives and lots of negative. And rye goes most anywhere, but it's something you have to research to get to, to get that bonus. Um, emmer is what we're going for. We have... A double positive here. We just sold something. And there is the the uh, the trader that just wandered in. Or it's our own trader. Let's pull out of this real quick and just see who's here. Trader Ditz. Stocks goods for sale. So he's our own guy. Right? People Ditz. So he's stocks goods for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. He is going off to get more berries. So, did somebody else just wander through? Uh, that's Click that to establish. I don't want to do that. When you've done that, it'll show you a cart. You click on it, and it'll take you to the cart that uh, is 
responsible. I don't see any activity. I don't know where that plus three just came from. So, but a plus three happened. Huh. I didn't see that. Maybe while I'm editing, I'll look, be able to see off to the edge over there. I think we were talking right here. So back to this conversation. This field. We, eventually I'm going to move this once they've done their job. So, we could, what does a Morgan look like? Morgan is the, is the measurement. What, I guess, I would think more of something like an acre. You know, there is 1.3 Morgans. Okay, I want to stick to a Morgan or less. Looks like we can fit three of them in this space. So, and I want to use up the space, but I want this line to be over here. So give me a point nine. From there, like that, there's a one. So if I went to here, there's a point nine. If I save and don't do this one, add that back in after we're done, we should get about a one Morgan out of that space. So I want to go here there too it was something like that and let's see what happens hmm let's try to what was the last noise I always get noises while I'm in building mode like that I never get to see what happened okay we've got a total here of something like three Morgan so there's actually th four fields in here Interesting. Okay, I, I gotta know. What was that? Another ruler's army is sighted. A region is being claimed. A ru that is us, right? Ought. Is that my name? I have realized when I set up this character, I forgot to type in a name. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, so that's him. We are claiming, and there's not a yellow line around it, so I'm assuming that that is still us claiming, and he hasn't done something strange I think our little dude here is named Ott I don't know if there's a way to go back and click alter that now all right so Ott must be us <laughs> yeah as I was editing that first episode I thought oh I missed a step in there okay back to working on this so we've got four fields worth is what I needed to ascertain so in that case let's just start from this end over here no, we still have trees over here, though. Um, I want to take advantage of those trees. And I have a feeling that even these are going to disappear. And we'll lose them. If. Yeah, they will. So we need to set up a field over here, then. All right, so let's give me a Morgan. You, right there. How do we do this, then? Let's make this a field and this a field. And this one will include this later. So let's go from here wrap around how far is it going to let me go let's go to there let's move over like that there's point 6 point 8 that's kind of interesting shape wise let's do that uh, now what's it going to do to us we're going to lose some of these little trees that don't count and I'm not seeing any other logs, like these guys, that are within this. So I think we can do that. Let's grab you. And that'll just be our first single field for this season. Get you up and going again. We're still in April. And you're going to get built. You're more than half done. Um, beyond that, we've got 30 timber already stacking up. How are we doing out here? 52 of 64. We're doing fine with two families. Okay, good. You are 32 of 40. We could throw another one in there, but I like having three families available to build. So let's resist that. So let's do a little bit of a, of a head count out here. We did not stock this guy. These, hey, the snow's gone. Are there any bodies left? I wish I could remember exactly where we were when we drew them, the enemies, that very first battle. I want to say it was here really do so the bodies may have vanished in between episodes it may now have been long enough for them to just to have vanished on their own and we have seen logs just disappear right into the ground when when our, our oxes uh, drop them off so that last one was we a burgage plot let's find that that's that guy right there we're two-thirds of the way done claiming our new province we got 200 influence left and we now have a place for someone to move into. We've got 
these are homes not plots and we've got 21 we have 17 families though I don't know if that counts these two I don't know that answer so log just got dropped off so I guess we can go this route all right little red zeros one two everything else has peoples in it interesting so 21 living space so 17 18 19 if we count those two in the in the uh, manner out of 21 leaves two spaces okay those two families do count in here they're m among the 14 and do they count as the two we would have gotten this month for being above 75 Hmm. so many unanswered questions but it does tell me that it's time to start thinking about another run of burgage plots you're gonna get built and there might be one or two miscellaneous things left but beyond that we're kind of done building at the moment okay did a horse arrive if so he would have been housed right here livestock uh, Ditz and Toman are there you are zero of do you have a horse you do not did I order the wrong thing I'm pretty sure I hit right there and it just hasn't arrived yet at any time I kind of expect to see someone walking a horse onto our land just hasn't happened yet anything out over here no I'm pretty sure it will arrive from this trading point here and we got another trading point out over here which doesn't make sense so we'll pull into here all right so where do we want more manners and we never did I never did finish that little census count there you livestock we've got Enders living in here um, so there aren't any other places where the horse could be associated all right construction finished farmhouse all right let's pause this while we still have time to do something um we've got one family working in here we've got one family working in there and that is plenty and i think we can keep the man permanently now i think we finally advanced enough to be able to pull that off one in the saw pit and saw pit is doing really good right now 36 planks hmm well and 32 timber so we're not bankrupting ourselves timber-wise. Let's keep the planks going. But I do think it's time to get this guy upgraded. But does he live here? Is this really where I want this? Or would I want another manor right there? There is... You gotta think about that. There's no moving it. So it's... it's um, That's right, moving it. The rain stopped. So let's think about logistics for a little while. You, food stall, I wanted to move to over here into this area in fact right now well, I was gonna say you're off the door front over here but let's go to the road front over here this roadway coming in right into there prime real estate you're going there and you are now the highest priority so get you moved and hopefully get all these supplies that we just threw out in the mud click yeah boy whole bunch of foods just sitting there four carrots we got veggies now so those need to get moved and but before we go any further there let's think seriously about this farm let's set you up in wheat so that is emmer or wheat and field priority we can choose which one we really want them to work on first we can choose where this farmhouse is concentrating its labor so we want to start say over here labor wise but maybe later we'll want a farm building over here to take over this. And we'll want to tell this guy to start working over here or something. So we can direct traffic in that regard. Um, if I don't do anything, then he will just go to the first available field. So that's what's set up right now. So you, a family, will come in and start working on this to get bring wheat in. Um, Priority-wise... It doesn't really matter since there's no there's nothing to uh, compete with it once we cross through 15% we could force this to harvest early if we choose to so if we're getting toward the end of, of the year snow is coming and we got a late start on this we want to get at least a little bit out of it we could say okay we'll sacrifice the rest we'll do that there's also the option to burn it down it doesn't show up here just yet 
but we could go through and burn it down. I assume it adds a bunch of uh, fertility back into it. So maybe an alternative to leaving it fallow. That I'm not sure. I, I did burn one down once and I didn't see any difference or change. So I will wait for you guys to toss in what you know about that mechanic or if that mechanic isn't really up and you know fully fleshed out yet yeah, that's possible too anyway wheat one family and you guys are going to get to work plowing and sowing and then wait for all of this to happen till we get to the the point of harvest and then you'll get in there and harvest it all dump it all off in sheaths right here in the middle and then eventually haul it all in Okay, um, road-wise, this doesn't really have any kind of a, of a fence line around it or an entrance. They can enter from any point. It's just where the, the bushes have been cleared away. And, dude, you've got our colors. Interesting, or real close. Is that green or is that... I don't think there was a teal. I think green, that's about as close to green as we get. But he's got our colors. I wonder how the game managed to pull that off. She's greens and golds, too. Is that just coincidence, or is the game smarter than I give it credit? There's green and gold, well, green and blue going on there. That might be coincidence. Anyway, so we've got some farm activity going on, enough to where we get to see this this mechanic happened, and that's, that's something I wanted to do. We've got food being tithed. We're still 10 months of food and 8 months of fuel. We're fine. Um, we get into points, hopefully when that update hits, because I'd love to do charcoal here as well. This is the province that we're going to be doing our claimed our province. Uh, we're going to be doing our, our, our iron mining, so I would like to get into charcoal to assist with that. And you know, we'll see how many how many points we can pull out of this region. I think we're we max at six, but got, you've got to have quite a town to get to that point. You've got to grow into all those points. So we have another region over here and this is our second land of Zawau for now and we got our stone area over here where are the king's road in this one so here it's pull out a little bit it's just around the perimeter that pulls in so we'll probably work our own private road in and around and drop into somewhere though we could start a little area just close by Maybe clip off the corner and do something here just as you're grabbing food. Hmm. And then maybe log all of this to supply what we need to start farming. Show me again where the the emmer, we're actually where the barley and flax are. That's the biggie right there. So we're right in here for barley. Uh, right through this area. Uh, oh, Eichenhau is being claimed by our enemy okay flax good in here too so barley watch right in here barley and flax so between those two we could flax down in here and barley up in here from housing that's kind of well we're kind of a dead zone over here right less right there less right there maybe this is the town and find a way to road in here that kind of splits the crop lines somewhere maybe right there through and into a town area and then we'll get crops on this side of the road and crops over here and new merc companies are available and yeah things are happening while I'm over here clicking on buttons so he is trying to take Really, he took the other land that had good fertility. And we've got a choice. Do we race for Waldbrand? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know that I want to try to maintain three towns at once. You'll see when we get to the point of running this one and setting it all up, doing five episodes worth of work to get this one going while we're continuing to maintain this one it's gonna get a little complicated all right so where are we at right now we're actually not too far from the end of, a, of an episode are we okay so we have two families because one went into here we are pulling our 
our uh, approval rating down by five at this point because of taxes. I wish I could click and get into and, and see pop-ups from the things that are in this chart to explain why those numbers. But did we move our booth? We did. You're here. You... No family is working it right now. Interesting. Now, something I haven't touched on. A family started to move in. Good. Um, this family here, this plot here, for example, will people... Some of these peddling. Uh, the ruler's army is sighted. Let's pause a moment. Um, these folks who have a lot of goods to get rid of may set up their own food stall. And you'll see a little little booth right here. You're peddling, so I want to know more about that. You have taken over. Oh, you are also working the firewood. Okay. Now, here's where it might be wise to go through and move families around. Say, no, 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 let's have you guys run the firewood. And you guys will run the whatever and just kind of, you know, move our labor into better locations. And at some point, we just may do that. What was this all about here? So, a lot of things can happen all at the same time. And so one boom, boom, ruler's army, you won't realize there was also a bandit camp that just showed up. So and there was another clunk, clunk. Family members arrive. Okay, so ruler's army is over here. Pause. They're still arriving at that one. That's what's going on. Okay. So they are going in, taking him out. If we wanted to, we could sit in here and watch that whole battle. Oh, are we already? Pull into here. No. I think we've already done it. Interesting. There's something happening right now. These guys have already battled. And for some reason, the AI decided not to take the camp. We're not going to get the influence. So we can go grab that gold. <laughs> am I going to take advantage of that? You bet I am. <laughs> okay. Let's send a retinue in. Let's get enough gold to finish off a retinue. You guys, hightail it over here. Ah, uh, that didn't work. I have to... I have to rally them, but I'm curious about something. You have to rally within your own area. Is this our area? Could I rally them here? I don't know that there's a difference. Let's rally them... Here. You can right it doesn't maintain any evidence there what's happening yep they are on their way so essentially they're up and running we could say you guys just run straight into now let me verify this are these guys all still leaving they seem to be it, the AI is unpredictable it's very possible that at some point they're going to get to here and the one's going to take off and start walking up that way but let's send you guys right into there at a full run since we're not looking at a battle so we don't have to be at our peak efficiency let's run them into there make use of them they make them uh, earn their wages so they'll grab that we'll dump it into our own uh, treasury there and we will finish building our retinue and then they maybe will patrol the lambs for bandit camps for us and keep that influence rolling in kind of like that all right in here we have now there's something i did not think of in time we're already into may march through may is planting season and it's quite rainy uh crops are growing from june to august june july august as much as I want to be building right now, four families would get this planted out much, much faster and give us more growing time. I should have thought of that. Let's put three in there. Let's get you guys very quickly. In fact, this family was unassigned. Are you assigned now? You are still unassigned. Okay, let's pull one out of here and specifically tell you guys to work there okay so you wherever you're you are at the moment you and people you went to church just came back you're plowing 
Oh, now you are assigned. They were just sitting in there doing nothing, apparently. Maybe that farm was our last building? It could be that I don't have any of the buildings queued up. Let's get some buildings queued up. These guys are going to be out here. Do we get anybody? Yeah. Let's take a look at this. So, at this point, we don't have the the uh, the ox pulling a heavy plow. We, don't, we haven't bought a plow yet. So, they're pretty much just relegated to... Uh, to, to doing this by hand now back in these times for real each of these would have had their own section of a field and they would have planted whatever the 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 the, the lord of the of the of the the thief i want to say trying to come up with these old terms would have declared is going to be planted within that space so that you know crop rotation wise and fertilize you know fertilization wise and and what have you what whatever would do the best that year and uh like i was watching you ever watch clarkson's farms that they've got a new season going on right now it's on prime and they're talking about a new method of farming where they plant wheat and beans at the same time. Wheat needs nitrogen. Beans fix nitrogen from the atmosphere into the soil. They're symbiotic. They will both um, benefit each other and leave the soil in a condition that will benefit the wheat. So they would have rotated their crops even back then in ways that would have maintained uh, peak fertilization for a variety of different crops that were available to them. So each of these families would have a section of their own. They'd be responsible for getting out there and plowing it up and planting it and then in the in the harvest season get in there and, and get it harvested. So there would have been long strips of, of plots for each of these households. Kind of interesting. So you guys are doing that. I want to set up some some more man or some more burgages for next time just trying to think of where to do that i'd love to get some more over here but i think we're not big enough to have to worry about specific families to do the sowing and to do the harvesting yet so let's work on this run right here now these could be bigger plots uh longer plots we're compact right here we could remain compact here though actually we could yeah, this will function for for um, artisans. They don't need a big backyard. They just need a presence to establish essentially a workshop. So let's see if we can give them just a little more room than this. So is there a way to measure that? If I were to grab a household, a, a H for burgage plot, one, two, where can I measure this? Let's grab this one. So this was actually pretty good. This had a pretty substantial square in this corner. So looking for the the little white dots there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my ruler. So eight dots in is where compared to say that line right there. So we'll have to move this. So one oh they're different over here. Yeah. Although there's one right there. I'm thinking these are doubles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If that's six, that's seven, that's eight. Let's go to the center point of that and throw you across to, I guess, just something like that. Down and over, but we're going we're gonna to interact with that. How do I force it not to? I don't know if I can without throwing a road in there. Um, because I don't want that shape. So let's do the road. So from there, let's just do. Well, we'll do that and we'll take it out. Okay, we'll do that. And H, grab you to there. There. And I think there. Let's rotate you around a little bit and see what we've got. There we go, but that is a bit excessive. Though will some of these be other than artisans? A new message. Let's pause. Okay. Oh, that's us. We, 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 we got there. We got to that camp. Let's pull you back a little bit. Let's go to... 
there. <laughs> oh, you're going to fight me. Okay, we're going there. We're going there. Nope, that's not big enough. There. Okay, I'm just going to force it to be right there. All right, three of them for next time. Put you in. That's kind of what I was trying to get to. We want to send the, the, the loot, the stash of goods, to my own personal treasury. And what do we want to do with these guys? I guess we've got to run them back to, I assume, gain their, their next two available, or the next two uh, uh, retinue you know, teammates. So let's tell you guys to get back into here and at a full run. Though group up like so, just to make it look a little more, a little more realistic. Yeah, side by side, and you are actually walking now because we we run the poop out of you. You're so tired. That that is a run now. That is a stagger. Okay, let's get you out of there. Can I? There we go. So this one's almost been claimed. We'll start next episode with the big drum roll of that being claimed and, and kind of assess what that truly means for our future. But we'll also see the completion of this field and and though I'll peek in here real quick just to just to watch that. And we will be able to start right here. So with that I'm gonna call this episode done. Thanks for watching folks and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye now. <laughs>